Hi everyone, Grinny here, and welcome to my channel. So I didn't really realize it, but today actually marks the first month of the channel. So happy one month! To celebrate this one month, we have also hit 500 subscribers! That's crazy! Who would have thought that non-clickbaity technical analysis would reach so many people and a lot of people will like it. But hey, to everyone who has subscribed so far, thank you very much for your support. And let's move on. So today we're going to talk about Mobox because Mobox out of all the cryptos has suddenly blasted into space and has sort of left all of the other gaming cryptos for now. But let's take a quick recap on what we said the last time, okay? So you're probably wondering, is it it though? Is it the end of the world pretty much? Well, not really. There's still a bullish case right here because on a four hourly time frame, it really appears that things are going on a downtrend. But if you look at the daily, so if I go to the daily, we are currently holding the daily 21 EMA right here. So the most bullish case moving forward is if we are able to hold this price level right here, maybe struggle a little bit, maybe you wick down a little bit, but you go up eventually and, and then maybe you challenge it a little bit, go sideways, it doesn't matter. As long as you hold this EMA right here, then it gives confidence to the market that even though this wave five is over, because we are testing structural support and we are holding strong, then it means we are good to go for another move to the upside. And there you go. So let's dive into our charts just to see what's going on. So looking at Mobox on a daily time frame, we can officially confirm that the bullish scenario that we have painted in the last video really played out here. And oh boy, what a comeback right here. So you may be wondering, on a macro level, where are we now then? Because we did identify certain price targets in the past. This is where if we lay down the Fibonacci again, and if we lay down our targets from before, this is where we can see where Mbox blasted off to and where which Fibonacci levels is it's currently hitting its head on. At the moment, we have the 1272 right here acting as resistance for this particular daily candle right here. If you look at it on a four hourly time frame, it's even more prevalent that we are really hitting our head around here. Another thing to note about Mobox is remember, we did map out before that we have just ended this particular five wave structure. And because of this particular run up right here, we have officially confirmed that this is the ABC. So it was a very short ABC correction before its subsequent move to the upside. Now, you may be wondering, then where are we going to go from here? So the good thing about this particular blast off into space is while we are hitting our head on the 1.272 right here, we are once again on track to go to our $21.98 1618 target. And I did say the last time, it will take another structure to get to the levels where we're getting at. So in this case, this is now your official wave one right here. This is your wave two. We are currently hitting our head on our wave three right here. If we eventually meet this $14.66 as resistance, then expect a potential wave for correction to the $10.81 before our eventual blast off into our destination of $21. There are a couple of things to note though. So what we do want is we do want the price to eventually meet resistance and maybe settle down into our one right here. But that may not happen because another potential scenario that may play out is if we are able to break out of here. So this is the 1.272. We are able to break out of this particular resistance line right here and we back tested support. So Mobox just crabs around here, wait for the EMAs to sort of catch up something like this and eventually blast off to its next destination. Then this is also another potential scenario that may play out. So just take note, because just because you have an overextension like this, it doesn't mean that price will suddenly push back down. If you want to enter into Mobox, then ideally you'd want the price to sort of just backtest this one as support of $10.80 before continuation. Otherwise, then if, if it breaks out of here and backtests its support and crabs before hitting our eventual destination of $21, then you know that that is because of the Fibonacci levels that it has reached. So I'm sure some of you are already experiencing some FOMO right here. It's like, oh no, Mobox blasted into space. Should I buy in now before I miss out all, all the fun? Once again, guys, I just want to remind each and every one of you, especially for those who are new to the channel, if you buy big green candles, you get big red dildos. Wait for back tests of support. Wait 
for the price to come down to certain Fibonacci levels or wait for certain support structures to form and price hangs out there as your potential entries before it continues off to space. Never buy green candles because you will definitely get wrecked one way or another. If you like my video, hit like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also, let me know what you think in the comments. If you also have other gaming cryptos that you would like me to look at, just leave it down in the comment box below and I'll take a look at it in the future. Until then, take care everyone. Happy one month to us. Bye-bye.